Ever wondered what a narcissist absolutely hates? No? Well, you're about to find out. Today, we're diving headfirst into the fascinating world of narcissism. Picture a person with an inflated sense of their own importance, a deep need for excessive attention and admiration, and a lack of empathy for others. That's a narcissist for you. But what ruffles their feathers? What makes them squirm? Stick around because you're about to discover the top 10 things narcissists absolutely detest. Kicking off our list at number one is ignoring them. Now narcissists are like the sunflowers of the human world. They just can't resist turning towards the light of attention. They're the stars of their own show. And when you ignore them, it's like canceling their favorite sitcom. It makes them feel small, insignificant, and unimportant. The spotlight's gone, and they're just left standing in the dark. So, if you ever want to annoy a narcissist, just pretend they're as invisible as their humility. Coming in hot at number two is criticism. Oh, how narcissists loathe it. You see, criticism punctures their grandiose self-image like a needle to a balloon. It's the equivalent of a mirror showing them a reflection they'd rather not see. Can you imagine a peacock being told its feathers are dull? That's a narcissist being criticized. It's not a pretty sight, folks. So remember, to a narcissist, any critique is as welcome as a skunk at a garden party. At number three, we have sharing the spotlight. Narcissists simply loathe this. Picture them as actors on a stage basking in the limelight. They adore being the center of attention, the main character in every story. But introduce another star into the scene, someone else stealing their thunder and watch the sparks fly. Their craving for constant adulation means they find it tough to share the stage. Think of a narcissist as a spotlight hogger. They want all the light on them all the time. Sharing, not their favorite word. Number four on our list is boundaries, our boundaries, the invisible fences we draw around ourselves. Now narcissists, they absolutely detest them. To them, a boundary feels like a brick wall blocking their path to total domination. It's like telling a bird not to fly or a fish not to swim. It's an affront to their perceived freedom, a challenge to their grandiose self-image. So if you want to see a narcissist squirm, just draw a line in the sand and watch them react. Coming in at number five, is empathy. Narcissists find it challenging to empathize, to truly connect with the emotional experiences of others. It's as if they're colorblind to feelings, unable to see the rich tapestry of emotions that make up our shared human experience. Imagine trying to understand a painting when you can only see in black and white. That's the world of a narcissist. For a narcissist, empathy is like trying to read a book in a language they don't understand. At number six, we have losing. Narcissists despise losing. It's like a blow to their inflated self-image, a puncture in the balloon of their grandiosity. They believe they're superior, and losing shatters that illusion. It's not just about losing a game or a debate. Even a minor setback can send them spiraling as it makes them feel inferior. They are the sun, and everything else must orbit around them. In the world of a narcissist, second place might as well be last. Number seven on our list is being exposed. Now imagine someone peeling back the layers of a narcissist, exposing their true self. It's like watching a horror movie in broad daylight. They can't stand the light of truth shining on their false self. Their meticulously crafted facade crumbles, revealing the real person behind the mask. It's a sight they dread more than anything. Their worst nightmare come true. A narcissist being exposed is like a vampire in daylight. It's not a pretty sight. Coming in at number eight is rejection. Narcissists are like balloons filled with self-esteem and rejection. Well, it's the sharp pin ready to burst their bubble. The thought of not being the center of attention or being bypassed for someone else can rattle them to their core. It's the equivalent of being told they're not as important as they believe themselves to be, and that's a tough pill to swallow. To a narcissist, rejection is about as enjoyable as a root canal without anesthesia. At number nine, we have being disrespected. Picture a peacock strutting its stuff, feathers all a flutter. Now imagine someone ruffles those feathers. That's a narcissist being disrespected. They crave admiration like a plant needs sunlight. Disrespect is like an eclipse blocking their source of self-worth. It undermines their inflated self-importance, leaving them feeling small and insignificant. It's a direct attack on their self-perception, their carefully crafted image shattered. Disrespect to a narcissist is like a puncture to a balloon. It deflates their ego instantly. 
And finally, at number 10, is genuine empathy from others. Narcissists often find it unsettling when they encounter genuine empathy. It's like a spotlight, illuminating the parts of themselves they'd rather keep in the shadows. They're used to controlling narratives, but empathy breaks down those barriers, offering a level of understanding that feels too intimate, too real. This unfiltered connection can feel invasive to them, making them uncomfortable. To a narcissist, genuine empathy is like a mirror showing them a reflection they'd rather not see. So there you have it, folks. We've navigated the labyrinth of the narcissist's mind, from their aversion to being ignored and criticized, their reluctance to share the spotlight, and their disdain for boundaries. We've explored their discomfort with empathy, their abhorrence of losing, their fear of exposure, rejection, and disrespect, and their perplexing response to genuine empathy. It's a tricky terrain, but remember, we're not here to antagonize, but to understand. So, next time you meet a narcissist, you know exactly what buttons to push or not. Before we close, a quick reminder, appreciate our journey through the labyrinth of narcissism, then join us for more. Become a part of our community, delve deeper into the human psyche, hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you found it entertaining and informative. And that's a wrap. We've journeyed through the labyrinth of a narcissist dislikes, from criticism to genuine empathy from others. Your time and attention are greatly appreciated. Thank you for tuning in and remember, keep that narcissist guessing. Savored this video, fancy another? Click the on-screen video for an even deeper dive into fresh territory. Your support is like a warm cuppa on a brisk day. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, ring that bell for the latest content. Cheers for watching.